I used to check every now and then, check myself every now and then, and this particular day I found a lump. I wanted to try and get it checked as quickly as possible. If you can come as early as you're concerned, don't worry about it, go and see your GP, come to the clinic, and we want to try and diagnose any problem you have as quickly and as early as possible. So we'd first start by um, just finding out what your concerns are, why you're coming to see us today, what symptoms you've got, um, how long you've had them, any concerns that you have specifically. So I went along to the doctors and saw them and she was really good. She carried out an examination. We would pretty much do an examination in these circumstances. We need to see the breast as well and the area that's concerning for you. So we would ask you to strip from the waist above. We have an examination couch with a curtain that we would provide privacy for you. We would look at both breasts even if you've got a problem just with one so we can compare one side to the other. Um, we will examine and lay a hand on your breast. We may also um, examine your armpits and around the neck area um, as well. I seem to remember laying down and then also sitting up and everything while she and so she was very thorough with her examination um, and then said that she would refer me to the hospital to, um, to get it checked. So we've got a, a very clear guidelines for us as GPs as to when we should be referring patients um, to the breast clinic. So breast lumps are the commonest cause that we would refer to a breast clinic for and generally over the age of 30. If you have a breast lump that we cannot easily explain or we're not sure, we would refer you to the breast clinic for, um, for further assessment. But often when we've examined you, we'll know whether we can explain that easily and we don't have to refer you or whether actually for completion and reassurance we may want to refer you on to the breast clinic. The majority of patients, however, that do end up at the breast clinic do not have breast cancer. We know that we've got to see all patients that are referred within the time frame of 14 days. We try our best to contact yourself as quickly as possible and interact with the departments as fast as we can to get these appointments booked in to give yourself reassurance and try and get you a date and time so then we can make you feel a little bit less anxious knowing that that's all booked for you. You should be thinking it's a half a day visit so if it's in the morning then you should be thinking you'll be there all morning and actually into the lunch hour. Similarly, if it's an afternoon clinic, expect to be there until at least five o'clock. It can be a long time. You go and see a consultant, um, they go through with you, you know, the fact that your doctor sent you over. They examined me, then said that they were going to send me for some tests. Breast examination and assessment is based on triple assessment. Um, so it's a combination of our assessment clinically um, combined with um, radiology, which could be an ultrasound or a mammogram or both, um, and also if needed a biopsy as well to give more information. You will be seen by the surgical team first and then they will assess you and let you know what further investigations you need. Not everybody needs investigations and they will tailor the investigations according to your presentation. My experience was I needed to go through and have the mammogram then have an ultrasound and then because of that I went on and had the biopsy whereas it can be that you would only have the mammogram and you wouldn't need to go on to either of the other um, procedures they will only put you through the tests that they need to put you through to make sure that they get the full outcome. Most ladies who are under the age of 40 will be recommended to have an ultrasound scan. They'll have an ultrasound scan because the surgeon would like to know what a particular area of the tissue looks like and the radiologist is really looking for anything that looks a little bit different. Women over the age of 40 will automatically be sent for a mammogram as well and on, if on either of the tests, the mammogram and the ultrasound or, or uh, one or the other, we find anything that we're not sure what it is, then we usually recommend a biopsy. Mammogram is principally an x-ray of your breast. You compress the breast between two cross plates. It sounds compressed, sounds painful, but it's not as bad as it sounds. And you take the image in one plane, and then you compress the breast in different right angles to the previous one, and you take it, so you get views in two. You see in one image, top to bottom, in the image you see from medial to the lateral, or inside to the outside. So these two views together gives you a lot of information. You will have to take your top things off, so very sensible to wear a skirt or trousers rather than a dress and then you 
feel a little bit more secure when at least you can keep your bottom things on. And she'll ask you to take your bra off as well. And she will position your breast, first one side and then the other, on the mammogram machine. So you'll be standing up, often with your arm up, so that um, she can get you in position. She wants to ensure that as much of the breast tissue as possible is included between the two plates of the mammogram machine. You have to stand in a certain position at a certain angle and then they literally squash you. But it only lasts just for a really short time, just to enable them to get that picture. The mammogram machine is designed to squash the breast tissue. That's good because it means that we can reduce the radiation dose to as little as possible. It also means that the picture is a higher quality than if we don't squash it. And it means that you'll keep still because any fractional movement will blur the x-ray and mean we can't see the really, really fine, subtle detail that's so important to us. The radiographer that did the test, you know, that did the um, mammogram was lovely. She was talking to me the whole time, um, making sure that I was in, you know, okay and checking that I was in the right position and all the rest of it. Even though I'd only found the lump on one side, they did, they did check both breasts, so to make sure, you know, to see um, what was happening. A little pain, but it's what you get back from it that's, that's good. While we're actually taking the mammogram, it's for a second or so. It's very, very quick. You'll hear a noise, and as soon as the noise goes off, the x-ray has been taken um, within a second or so, and the compression can come off. But we'll do that two times for each breast. The radiation from mammogram is so small that it's unlikely to be of practical risk to be of cancer. Many ladies find it uncomfortable, but the pain will go very quickly after the compression comes off, as soon as the x-ray is taken. For some ladies that will feel a little bit bruised afterwards, and some ladies find it doesn't really hurt at all. The radiographer will then check the mammogram pictures, make sure she's happy, that she's got enough of the breast tissue included in the picture, and it's not too blurred. If she's not happy, then she'll repeat the mammogram straight away. I got called through in to go and have an ultrasound. They put the gel on, and then they use the kind of wand thing that they have to to go over the area um, and sort of adjust it and move it around to make sure they can see. The clinician that did it was lovely and was talking the whole time saying about what they were doing and what they were going to do and then when it was done. One of our healthcare assistants will come and call you by name from the waiting room. They'll ask you to take your top clothes off and your bra and they'll lie you down on the couch with a piece of paper over you just to keep you covered for the moment. And then the radiologist, who's a doctor trained in ultrasound scanning and looking at x-rays, will come in and will use an ultrasound probe to actually use sound waves to create a picture of the tissue under the probe. Ultrasound is more of a focus. If I feel there is a problem in one quadrant of the breast, then I would say, could you please look at in addition with mammogram, could you look at that particular area with an ultrasound? It's more focused, it's quite lab labor intense because radiologists have to sit down and look at every bit of the area. The radiologists will take pictures that they think will help tell a story. So if they see a little area that looks, looks a little bit different, then they'll be taking pictures at several different angles of that area. Um, if it looks normal, again, they'll be taking pictures to say, say this is the area we're looking at and this looks like normal tissue. If they have any concerns at all, then they'll usually recommend that we do a biopsy. It's always helpful if you know that's going to happen because they'll have that conversation with you while they're actually doing the scan. They'll be talking to you about what the biopsy entails while they're doing the scan and trying to get a little bit more information. The piece that really worried me and really um, I was quite scared about was the biopsy because obviously I'd got to that third test, you know, that they needed to do. There is a bit of, obviously, it's a needle going in and they've got to get it into the, you know, sort of um, do it with the lump. So um, it's a, uncomfortable. It wasn't as bad as I was anticipating it was going to be. I just kept trying to think, well, this is going to check and see where we, you know, see what this actually is, because it was a worry. The radiologist will explain that we're going to put some anaesthetic in. That stings as it goes in, just like anaesthetic for anywhere else. 
and we're able to put it just at the spot we need it because we're using the scanner to show us where it needs to go. And we can then make a tiny hole in the skin and use a special biopsy needle to, to put the needle exactly where we, where we want the biopsy to be taken from. And you will feel the needle being pushed in place, but it shouldn't hurt because the anaesthetic will have done that job. Um, you'll then hear a very loud click, often quite close to your ear, so you'll jump at the first time, but we'll try and tell you what it sounds like before you, your first biopsy. Um, so be aware there's a very loud click. Lots of ladies say it sounds like a stapler. We usually like to take more than one sample, depending on how big the area is, whether we think we've got it. Sometimes with a tiny little lesion, we need to have a couple of goes to make sure that we've actually got it. But the radiologist will take biopsies until they're happy they've got something that represents what they're looking at on the scan. The risk from the biopsy is there. It carries a risk of bleeding. You have a tiny wound, you can be bruised quite a bit, and it can be painful or sore. But on generally, on a routine purposes, it's a very well tolerated procedure. And painkillers for a few days in the form of paracetamol or ibuprofen is usually sufficient. So that sample has to go to the lab, it then has to be embedded in wax, it has to be shaved off and prepared with special dyes. That will take 24 to 48 hours at least. So that means if you've had a biopsy on a Monday, it's not going to be ready on Wednesday. You're not really going to know until the week after. We'd rather get the right answer than rush it through, so we're going to take as long as it takes. If you have a biopsy, we do not expect the results to be available less than a week. And then those biopsy results are discussed in a multidisciplinary team meeting where a patho radiologist, pathologist and a surgeon all sit together and say, present their individual assessment. Because they tell you at this point that you're going to need to wait for the result of the biopsy um, to come back um, because they need to send it away to get the, the, the fluid checked um, as to what's going on, um, then that's kind of the worst part. It's that waiting and not knowing, knowing you've got a lump, knowing you can feel the lump there, um, but not actually knowing how you're going to deal with it, if it is going to be anything or not. In terms of discharge the same day, it's more than 90%. Um, in terms of a diagnosis with cancer, we're probably looking at about 5% of the people that come through our clinic. The vast majority of people will be reassured and discharged on the same day with no biopsy or any further action needed. The consultant called me and gave me the good news that everything was fine and I burst into tears <laughs> because it was just such a relief. If you see 100 people in a clinic, about five or six would have cancer and the aim of these clinics is to find people in very early stages of cancer so that we can treat them and they can go on to have live a normalish and not a span of life. From meeting the admin staff on reception um, and the clinicians, the radiographers, everybody just wanted to do the best to be able to get you through the process. If you find anything that's different with your breast then go and get it checked out with your GP. It's so much better to go and get it checked out as soon as you find it than it is to kind of think, oh, I'll leave it for a bit and see what happens. Don't leave it, just get it checked.